most of you have probably encountered Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium problems involving a gene with only two alleles, where this is the equation of the allele frequencies, and if you square this, you get the equation for the genotype frequencies. And there are three different genotypic combinations. Now if you add an allele, so you have a gene with three alleles instead of two, you now get this equation for the allele frequencies. So we've added this R here. And if you square this equation, foil it out, you now get the equation for the genotype frequencies. And as you can see, now there is a total of six possible genotypes from the different combinations of alleles. Now let's move on to this question where we're talking about blood types. So here I've just simplified the equations so they're easier to read based on the blood types. So this is the, the A allele and this is the B allele. These two are codominant and this is the I allele which is recessive to the A and B. This is the genotype frequency equation here. So we're given the frequency of the A allele, which is 0.36, and the I recessive allele, which is 0.54. And now we can determine B by minusing 0.36 and 0.54 from 1, and we get just 0.1. And now we can start filling in our genotype frequencies. So the A, A squared will be 0.13, right, just square 0.36. And B squared will be 0.1, I squared 0.29, 2AB equals 0.72, 2A recessive I, 0.39, and finally 2B recessive I is 0.11. Now all of these should add up to 1, and if they don't, um, you probably have to redo one of your calculations. So now let's determine the frequencies of our blood types here. So the A blood type, and this will be an individual with two dominant A alleles. So that's 0.13. And an individual with a dominant A blood type allele and a recessive I. So just add them up, 0.52, that's 52%. And for B, we're looking at an individual with two dominant B alleles and adding someone with a dominant B allele and one recessive I allele. And you get 0.12, so that's 12%. So type AB, there's only one genotypic frequency that corresponds to so someone who has a dominant A allele and a dominant B allele. And that's basically 7%. And type O, there's only one for this one as well. And it's an individual with two recessive I alleles. They have no antigens on their cells. And this, of course, should also equal one. So if it doesn't, maybe go back and check your calculations. Alright, I hope you learned something, and see you later.